Hi, this is Paul Palmer. Today I'm going to talk about trend analysis. So, when you're looking at a PQR, you're looking at your trend for maybe three months, maybe six months, maybe a year. But what about real time? Real time trend analysis is something that could be more important than the retrospective view that you take over it and your periodic quality review, especially if you're looking at quite a long period of time. So as you go along, you're getting data, you're getting results from your, each batch before you do your QP release. Now, what you want to do, probably as the quality reviewer, is to plot the data and see if you've got a change in the trend, and what I would call an adverse trend. So let's talk about, say, um, impurities. So you've got unknown impurities, and you've got a limit of 0.1%. For each unknown impurity, each one, not the combination, not the total. The total is usually a bit higher. So your unknown impurities routinely come out 0.00%, and, 0.01%, and they tend to be right at the lower limit. This is just as an example for your trend. Now, for one batch, you're looking at it and you get 0.08%. You think, well, it's still within the spec, but it's outside the normal trend. So maybe there's something that's gone wrong upstream that we need to be looking at so that we don't continue the trend and it does go out of spec. So you look back and you say, well, is there an issue with the API? Is there an issue with the excipients? Has something changed on the way that the machine is? Maybe the machine that's doing the manufacturing is due for its next maintenance. Maybe the calibration's due on the scales and, and slightly more was weighed out of something than, than it normally would be. Maybe your API has been left exposed and it starts to degrade. Maybe your API or maybe your bulk intermediate has been left in the light rather than being protected and something's degraded. Or maybe the supplier's done something Maybe when you go back and check your C of A, the C of A shows you that it's also got this high unknown. Now, whatever the reason is, you do your full investigation, you see if you can work out what the problem is. And if it's an issue that could cause a, a greater problem in the next batch, well, you want to fix it before you get to your next batch. Because the worst thing you can do is have a, a quality defect that's then going to cause you to reject the batch or that means you can't actually release it to the market without doing some sort of batch specific variation which there's no guarantee they're going to be improved they're going to be approved so if you do see something out of trend you want to spot it in real time you don't want to be leaving it weeks and weeks before you plot your graph you want to be making sure that you're looking at your data not relying on the person at the end of the line, like the QP, because I sometimes spot the trends when they haven't been spotted further up the line. Even though it's clearly obvious, it's going along and it's gone up. If you've got a step change, you want to investigate what's causing it, because you don't want it to cause a problem with the quality of your product and not be able to provide the product to the patients, because the patients are relying on us to supply the product, to supply it so they can get their treatment, so they can feel better. So that's it for me for today. Make sure you do your trend analysis and look for your outer trends and investigate them. Okay, thank you. It's Paul Palmer.